Hi, I'm Chris, and thank you for joining me on my next video build. So as you can see, we are building the very beautiful Porsche 911 Carrera 3.8 RSR. Uh, but lovely box art on the front, and box art on the side, alongside the finished model. Um, first thing I noticed, not so much of an issue though, really, but the rear wheel, uh, they're quite deep dished, whereas on the actual finished model, they're quite flush like the front wheels are. I say it's, it's not too much of an issue, to be fair, and um, also the decal sheets. Um, the rest of the box is pretty much box art, and on the other side, if you've just got the, as you'll see in shortly, uh, just like the colours and stuff. Now, I just wanted to quickly mention uh, that I was very fortunate enough to win this on Instagram uh, as part of Scale Model Builds giveaway uh, towards the end of last year. Um, thank you very much. Um, if you're on Instagram and you don't follow him, go and follow him because he's doing a great job of currently building the Queen Mary 2 Ocean Liner at the River Velkit, and he's doing a fantastic job. So I'll leave his uh, Instagram tag in the comments below. Uh, yeah, go and find him and uh, give him a follow. So the first one we'll look at, we'll look at the instruction book. It wasn't too uh, too big to be fair. Um, it was more like a leaflet compared to an encyclopedia as some of the kits I've been working on. It was never a bad thing though. Uh, just there on a lot of information in the front about you know, you know safety and you know doing this and you know all the symbols there for you know decal symbols and you know what to do in, uh, going through the manual as such. Uh, across the top there, you've got all your Mr. Hobby colours, I presume, with the GSI to the left. I presume it's uh, Mr. Hobby colours. And again, the instructions there. There's a lot of this in Japanese, to be fair. Um, and there's some of it I'm going to have to use, like the Google Lens Translator, I think, uh, because it's got some information and that obviously I can't read, unfortunately. Um, there you see just the, the decal placements. And along the bottom there, you can just see all the sprue trees along with the body and the shaded areas of the parts we won't be using. With this type of instruction book, it's one of those that folds all the way out. Um, I could do, really do with one of those little um, music book stands that like a pianist play, uh, uses or something like that. That'd be quite handy. Anyway, uh, as you can see, starting off uh, with the suspension and brakes, the wheels, uh, so straight in there. And you've got the subframe, uh, so the steering rack. Uh, getting it all together. It doesn't look like there's too much going on, but it's never a bad thing. You can see there, the rear subframe, brakes going onto that wheels on looks fairly simple now you have got a choice of left left hand drive or right hand drive I think I'll go for the right hand drive because I'll probably put the Japanese plates on uh, the racing seat you got the tub and interior together with a roll cage and the, the solid clear window part hopefully it won't be too much of an issue getting that in should be all right to be fair because it's got quite a um, quite a large surface area on the inside of it at the top where it can't be seen and there just there at the top that's what I mean about the Japanese information regarding the sunroof um, not sure what it says but I'll have to use my Google lens we'll see what it says but I think I'm gonna uh, use my Mr. Hobby putty filler anyway I think I'm gonna fill in the fill it in and then smooth it out as you see it's done so it's not too complicated in the book um, it should be a nice little easy build to be fair and what we'll do is, is we'll uh, put this book away and we'll look at all the parts and all the sprues. First up we'll look at the decal sheets. There's actually two in this. There's uh, one on the back side as well. Um, you've, they do look fairly decent quality to be fair. The dials at the top, Porsche badges, varying number plates, window stickers. Can't quite make out what that says though. We'll be honest, I might have to take a picture and zoom in to see what it says. This sheet of decals, they look pretty decent to be fair. You know, nice quality, uh, no yellowing, that's always a good sign. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, where's the other side? Uh, an attempt at um, some bonnet style looking decals. Uh, the fuel filler, uh, probably won't use them to be fair. Uh, these will stay in the bag, the tyres, poly caps and the rear axle. Uh, I've seen that quite a few times in a few Fujimi kits using the uh, the solid axle bar and such. Uh, be looking forward to seeing how that goes. But yeah, they'll stay in the bag for now. And then you've got the RSR additional sprue tree with the racing seat and the roll cage. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look too difficult to be fair. What's that? One, two, four parts to the roll cage. Fairly decent looking seat as well. There's not much um, flash for what I saw. Um, no issues. Should be quite nice. Just got to think of a colour now to. Uh, match the body colour I think and there's the another RSR additional sprue tree I think yeah, along with the obviously the RSR spoiler I think the front lip and a few other bits and bobs um, I'll be honest above the steering wheel I'm not sure what that is 
But if you notice here on the back of this the spoiler base, on either side, use my trusty cocktail stick, you can just see bits of flash. Um, not too bad. I have seen much worse on some of Jimmy kits. Like I say, it's not too bad. And to be fair, after a quick sponge, uh, sponge sanding, it, it won't be there. It won't be noticeable. Like I said, that bit, that bit there at the top. I'm not quite sure what it is. It might be an exhaust tip. Could be wrong. Um, we'll soon see when we get around to building it. Uh, the wing mirror steering wheel and then the air vents to the front bumper. Quite a nice little additional tree there. And then on to uh, the next tree where we've got the interior tub. It's not bad. And you've got the uh, two varying styles of number plates. You've got some, I don't know, is it a rare spoiler grill option? I'm not sure to be honest. Interior tub looking fairly decent to be fair. And the disc brakes. A few more of the interior parts. Another steering wheel. But as you see there as well, look, the choice of left hand or right hand drive uh, dashboard options. Like I said, I'll probably go for the right-hand drive, I think. And then to the, above them, to the left there, is uh, some sporty domed wing mirrors, which I'll probably be using. And uh, the discs look like an old uh, vinyl record, if you ask me. And if you're a kid and you don't know what that is, go and ask your parents, they'll tell you. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. Quite happy with that. Should be a nice, easy build. You see there the wing mirrors, I think they're the ones I'll be using, uh, a nice sporty uh, aerodynamic look. And uh, the next tray we've got the uh, the chassis main chassis part, and you've got the subframes, a couple of seats, the, the front suspension, again above that, uh, to be fair that's, that's not bad detail under that suspension to be fair, I think that with uh, picking it out with a brush, might be able to get some nice detail up on there. Um, and below that uh, you've got the steering rack. And I can only presume an exhaust again. Uh, you've got some pins there for the front wheels. So going the brakes and the hubs with the polycaps. Standard seats that won't be getting used. A few more wing mirrors, headlight caps. Or housing, should I say, actually. They're the headlight housings just there to the left. Now these two brackets there in the middle, I'm just going to point them out. Now I'm not sure what they are, I will be honest. Um, to me they look like a... Uh, like bonnet, but bonnet hinges or something. As you, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. These here, they look like hinges for like a bonnet or something. But as you'll see in a moment when we look at the body, it's all solid. Um, so go back to the instruction manual uh, when I'm getting around to having a look and seeing what they're used for. Yeah, clear parts, not too many. And as you can see, there's quite a big solid main window clear part. Uh, it's got a nice. Uh, the bar going across the top there actually, so it should be quite handy being able to get that stuck in. Uh, you've got some headlights and indicator lenses, uh, some more headlight lenses, I think, I don't presume so. Um, and then obviously the red tail light uh, lens with the nice Porsche uh, going across there. Hopefully it will get that picked out and looking nice and detailed. But yeah, should, hopefully that uh, main window part shouldn't be too bad. And then we've got the wheel, wheels. As you can see, there's no deep dish on the rear ones to the right hand side, the, the pair on the right. But when we look on from side on, there's definitely deep wheels. So, again, it's not an issue not being deep dished. But, and they do look nice. Um, I've got a few different ideas. Uh, we'll just have to see how things go uh, once I start getting some paint down on the actual body itself. Um, but these should be quite nice to try and pick out in detail, to be fair. Might even leave them. Um, the coated colour they've come in to be fair as well because it's, it's not bad to be fair and here we are to the body so it's, it's a lovely body shape it, like I say it's one of my favourite shapes of the Porsches with your super flared rare arches especially it's just so you know sporty looking and quite aggressive uh, as you can see in my trusty cocktail stick again uh, just picking out some of the bits of flash um, from, uh, from the moulding process uh, yeah, you see there on the roof, I think, like I said, I'm going to try and fill that out and smooth it all off. So we've got a nice, flat, smooth roof. Um, it's weird because it's got that option, but there's no, like, sunroof panel part as such. I don't know, it's strange. Anyway, um, to the front, uh, you've got your mould line uh, around the headlights to the left, on the left hand, and, you know, right, right, around. 
and you've got big chunky mold lines going down the fronts. On the actual main body itself, it's not going to be too much of an issue getting to, uh, but getting inside those recesses where the lights are going to sit, um, I think if you use a sharp enough uh, exacto blade, number 11 blade or something, if you just tidy that up, um, not to worry about it too much. Um, and like I said, but the, but the ones on the body themselves, uh, sanding sponge, and they'll be gone within, you know, short, you know, just takes a little bit of sanding, no issues at all. So even that, you know, with these mold lines, they might be big chunky mold lines, but it's nothing to worry about. Like I say, you get your sanding sponge, sanding paper, whatever you want to use, and then uh, you just get rid of them. Easy peasy. But they are on the back, as you'll see. If we can get focus and see them in the light, yeah, you can see them there. They are quite meaty. Some of the bigger ones I've seen, but still, I've said it, said it once, said it once, I'll say it again. It's, it's nothing to worry about. Get your marker pen on there, sand them away. Uh, to be fair, I've actually seen, I've actually, I think I've actually worked on worse kits. Yeah, this isn't too bad, to be fair. Uh, does look, I'm not sure what's going on there inside the, the light recess. It looks like it's had like a hot pointed, I don't know, it just like a bit melted or something. I'm not too sure. Something from the, obviously the, the production process. So I might have to try and fill that in if I can and see what I, I see how I get on. Uh, but I am very much looking forward to working on this um, this, this this body shell, um, and we'll uh, get cracking on it soon. Hopefully this weekend we'll start making get some filler down, start getting rid of some of these mold lines, and get it all ready for priming. Uh, yeah, very much looking forward to this one, and uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Look after yourselves. Cheers.